The self is a story. So, if Phineas Gage showed the eye is physical, and Damasio's work proves it's tied to our bodies and emotions, what does that mean for Descartes' idea of a single, unified thinking thing? If there's no one pilot in the cockpit, where does that powerful, constant feeling of being a self come from? The answer from neuroscience is as mind-blowing as it is elegant. The self is a story. Your brain is a master storyteller. All day, every day, it's hit with a chaotic storm of information. Light hitting your eyes, sounds vibrating your eardrums, memories bubbling up, worries about the future. To make sense of all this chaos, your brain is constantly weaving a simplified, coherent story. And the main character of that story is you. Its job is to create explanations and rationalize our actions to maintain a single, coherent narrative of I, even if it has to make things up. It shows that the unified self we all feel we are is, in a way, an illusion, a beautiful and vital piece of fiction written by our own brain. You are the story being written moment by moment. You are not a noun, you are a verb. And this leaves us with one final profound mystery. If the self is just a story, the brain tells itself to make sense of everything. Who or what is listening?